What's up guys, the Ian Thing Guy 3 here bring guys another great video. Tonight we are looking at this RC truck that I am to be purchasing as of tomorrow. It is a Traxxas T-Max. It's got the 3.3. Um, it's got some aftermarket tires. As you can see, those are pretty big boy tires. Here's what my... Well, I got nothing to really compare it to, but here's my hand. Here's how big the tire is. It's a pretty big tire. My thumb goes right to the top pretty much. But, I'll pop the body real quick. Hang on. It's got the 3.3. Like I was saying, the big boy engine. The cover for it, there was supposed to be a plastic cover on here and it broke off on me. But that's fine. Um, it's pretty much stock aside from the tires we're put on are different. And the way that you access the glow plug is different. This is something that's aftermarket. You would use you push this down, twist to the twist counterclockwise, and it pops right off. This is what ignites the glow plug for it to start or whatever. It's a little wet on the inside. Nothing to worry about. There's the glow plug on the inside. There you go. To put it back on, just pretty much put it back on, push it down, turn it clockwise. That won't come off then. Um, it's got the uses an easy start one, but I need to get a new one. And then you get a one way starter bearing because you'll hear it like it ain't, it just is not starting it. I know that's, I'm sure that's what the problem is. My pull that apart twice and mess with it. My buddy and I found out both times to, by cleaning it, that's what fixed it. So we're going to just replace it because it needs to be replaced. Otherwise, it's pretty much all good to go. Um, came with some fuel. I don't have anything with it besides the truck itself right now, but <clears throat> I'm going to do some with. I want to do some with the exhaust because I notice how people from the exhaust they'll come they'll put re residue on this over here or in the tire. So I want to get like a piece of rubber that pulls sticks out further. But we'll have to see what happens with that because if you look at it, it does go high. It does stay about the same height as the tire does. So I'm gonna have to figure out something for that. Um, stock bumpers. These are the stock ones. They're plastic. I wish they were metal because it would make it look a lot better. I'm not going to tear it all apart tonight, but once I get the bearing and a new remote, I will make sure to do a video on this. I know I haven't done a video in so long, but this will be my first Nitro. I know how people say to go with lipos, but I'm getting this for a really good price. The guy was originally, at the very beginning, he was asking 500 and then whenever I got there, we talked about it a little bit. He said, I'll, if you can get, if you really want it, I'll go down to 450 just because I want it gone. Then I've had this for so long. I had it before winter of this last year, and it's freaking February already. So I've had this for probably since October or November is how long I've had this truck now. And it's, it's like February 20th, I believe. But, yeah. I'm going to meet up with the guy tomorrow. He couldn't do it today, so I'm going to meet up with him tomorrow because it's local. It's a town right next to where I'm at right now. It looks like I'm missing a screw in there, actually, right there. Because you notice how I don't think there's anything to really mess with, though. I could put a screw in there at any point. But, yeah, to get the back, the one part in that I need to do, I need to take off this little plastic piece, these four shocks, and this shock tower, also known as the part where the Easy Start wand plugs in at, because it just uses a Traxxas Easy Start. I'm sure you guys know what that is. And then I got to tear apart the um, whole part that starts it, including this little piece. This comes off in one whole piece where the motor sits, but there's some screws down here. I think there's three or four screws that tear apart that whole piece, and there's just a little bearing about that big. And you pull that whole thing off, and she goes, um, you pull it out, put a new one in, you're pretty much good to go. Get a new Easy Start wand or a glow plug igniter. I might just buy both. Easy Start one is about 15 bucks. I can get a new Gold Plug Igniter for 20 to 30 bucks. So I might just go with both because maybe I'll run into a Nitro that doesn't have as an Easy Start. I might need a Gold Plug Igniter. If I don't buy one with one, I might have to get one. But I'm going to definitely have to get a new Easy Start one. I might buy one off a buddy of mine because he's got three and he only he doesn't need all three of them. So we'll see what happens with that. All right, owe him some money because he put this one black piece on right here. This is what keeps the fuel lines from melting 
of on the engine that's little um it's just it's some that's not cheap this little piece he said i gotta give him like five bucks for i'm like all right better than having the and the guy got lucky that it did not melt the pipes because it could have really easily but luckily lucky him it didn't but yeah pretty much all stock i might eventually um figure out a way i want to get a remote start on here or I want to put in a reverse kit. Because you can buy a reverse kit for nitros. Nitros, just so you guys know, most nitros do not come with reverse in case you did not know that. So I might think about putting a reverse kit in here at some point. Because I want this. Because honestly, nitros need reverse, in my opinion. I've noticed a lot of times I wish I'd reverse on this truck. Drove it a little bit, but every time it flips over, it dies. And that easy start just doesn't start it. She needs to be tuned better. I had a friend of mine look at it, but... We'll have to just go from there. Figure it out as we go. I'm still learning, but I got a friend of mine that luckily knows pretty much everything there is to know about these nitros. So he's the guy to talk to. I love the way the truck looks. I like the body. This body has seen better days, though. You can see how scratched up it is. The front ain't too bad, but when you get further down, you can see where it's a little crumpled on this side. In the back, look at this. This whole piece is just... Pretty much ready to come off. I might put on an LED light kit I bought a while back for some of my other RCs. But we'll see. But anyways, um, I guess that's it for now. If you guys could do me a favor and give me a thumbs up. And then comment if you have any questions or any suggestions. And um, subscribe if you haven't already, please. I'd really appreciate it. Um, see you guys in my next video. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.